In this video, I am going to explain the nomenclature of drill bit. The nomenclature of drill bit typically includes several key components that describe its size, type and other characteristics. What are the main components that we are going to uh, highlight in this uh, video is the tank, neck, flute, margin, these are the main components of the drill bit, tip, shank, body, lip, overall length, drill diameter, land, helix angle. We will see one by one in detail with the help of the diagram. Now you can see that uh, this is the, uh, the typical uh, drill bit. You can see this is the typical drill bit you have to take in. Now you see that this is the this portion. This portion is uh, call it as a tank. One minute I want to mark the laser point. So this is the tank. What is the tank? The tank of a drill bit is a small cylindrical extension located at the end of the shank. At the end of the shank. It serves as a means to secure the drill bit into the drill shank, allowing for a stable connection during drilling operations. That is the main function of this uh, tank. Next is neck. So you see in between these two portions, you are providing the small slot that call it as a neck. The main purpose of this neck is the slender intermediate section between the shank and the body portion of the drill bit. It provides a transition between the thicker shank and the main cutting portion of the drill bit. So from here, from this uh, neck onwards, the cutting portion is started. This is the main part of the neck. Next, the flute. You can see that on the surface of the uh, this body, you can uh, cut that portion is called as a flute. The flutes are the deep spiral or helical grooves. You can see that this is the helical groove. Helical groove and run along the body of the drill bit. Their primary function is to provide channels for removing the material while drilling, allowing for efficient chip evolution and preventing uh, overheating. So that is the main function of this uh, float. Next margin, you can observe here, there is a this uh, rectangular ribbon type will be there on the helical that you can call it as a margin. So the margin is the smooth uncut surface along the circumference of uh, the drill bit body. It helps to maintain the stability of the drill bit during drilling and prevents it from wandering of course. So this is mainly maintained to maintain the stability of the drill bit while doing the drilling operation that is called as a margin. Next we will see that the shank. This is the portion of the drill bit that call it as a shank. The shank is the straight cylindrical part of the drill bit that fits into the drill's chuck. It is the part that gets gripped by the drill's jaws to rotate the drill bit during drilling operation that is, that is called the shank portion. Next this is the body. The body is the main cutting portion of the drill bit. It extends from the neck to the tip. Here this is the tip, neck to tip and contain the flutes and cutting edges at the end of each flute. These sharp edges slice into the workpiece and it's creating the hole as a drill rotate. These are the sharp edges that will actually remove the material. Now this is the tip. The tip portion, the tip also known as the drill bits cutting edge. Here the cutting edges will be there and the tip and is the foremost point of the drill bit. It is responsible for making initial contact with the workpiece and initiate the drilling process. This is the body that will take care. The, now you can see that this is the axis of the drill bit. Axis of the drill bit and helix angle. 
So now you can see that from the axis, uh, from this float you have to marking this is the ellipse angle. So the ellipse angle refers to the angle formed by the floats as they spiral around the body of the drill bit. It plays a crucial role in chip evacuation as a proper ellipse angle allows for efficient material removal and reduce the risk of uh, the clogging. For the purpose we are providing this uh, ellipse angle. So now this is the drill axis. You can see this is the drill axis. So along this body, so this drill axis will be provided. And overall length, the overall length of the drill bit is the total measurement from the tip to the end of the shank. From the tip to the end of the shank, this overall length is measured. It determines the maximum depth to which the drill can penetrate into the workpiece. Now this drill diameter, so now the drill diameter represents the width of the hole that the drill bit will produce. It is typically measured across the uttermost edge of the cutting lips. This, this the drill diameter is the measure the diameter of the hole that we can make. Now you can see that margin already explained, so the, this is the uh, for the the smooth uncut surface along this body uh, in helical uh, manner okay now you can see that uh, the land the, the land portion is the small here this entire the surface you call it is the land the land is the small flat area on the top of the flute between the cutting edges it helps to center the drill bit in the hole it helps to center the drill bit in the hole and provide support for the cutting edges provide support for the cutting edges. So now the flute, so that flute is helical groove cut on the body and so now this is the cutting edge and through this cutting edge once the material cut and the, uh, the, the chips which are coming from the workpiece that will flow along this helical groove and it coming outside, coming outside. Now this is the lip that acting as a cutting edge and this is the sizzle edge you can see that these are the two portions that will be combined here this guy is called it is a sizzle edge this also sometimes you can call it as a web or core thickness so this it will join these two flanks okay and this is the cutting these are the, this is the one cutting edge and this is another two cutting these two edges are cut the material and once that material cut and the chip will flow through the surface and it will be along this electrical manner then it will be coming 